It was so, really so this other question that they asked us is this a this a deep question? So, you know, be invested in this, right, folks? <laughs> uh, where do we see ourselves in five years? So this is tough because you're 23, right? I'm 22 actually. Wow. So I got a lot of my life left, I'm the thank, oldest thankfully. Tough. But where are you? 23, yeah. born in 98. Yeah. yeah, so easy there, okay. <laughs> so at, at five years from five now, years. you'll be 27, you'll be... 27. Oh, you'll be 28, yeah. you'll be, be 27. Yeah. I, I'm 22, so I'll be 27 too. So this is tough because my entire life, all I've ever wanted to do is something sports related. I was a baseball player. I was I was, I was was pretty decent at baseball. Trash. Just my body couldn't hold up, so I had to find a new route of how to stay within sports, and I found a, a, a passion for, for football and, and, and learning the fantasy football aspect type of things and you know I ended up doing a, a podcast with my boy Joel Dells and we did that for a little while but we ended up getting busy COVID actually hit and we both got affected by it so we kind of just drove up drifted apart from that but I knew I always wanted to do sports and I knew one of my strengths was talking and and interacting with others and when you hit me up saying that yo do you want to be on the podcast I just thought that that this was the perfect opportunity that I couldn't let go and given the fact that we're Hackensack guys, we're homegrown, I love that even more about us. I, I, I rep Hackensack till the day I die. As much as I love the Bronx, and as you know, I appreciate my, my few years there that I put in. Hackensack. <laughs> that, I, that I put in, bro. Hey. hey right, I, like he was yeah. in jail. Hey, he was a not, gang member. Not like. even. The Bronx was, was a good vibe. It's just. Now, but you said like he was in the mob, like the workout play hey, on the streets. Hey, you don't know where I'm from, bro. <laughs> that being said. Hackensack has just been amazing to me. I've had a great portion of my life here. And so when you gave me the call and said, hey, do you want to be on this podcast? I, I loved it. And I know that we all, us three, have really strong talents in doing this. And I would love for this to in five years to be 30 times what it is now from what you guys have already done for us and, and the achievements we've made. I think we're at, what, 8,000 downloads, right? Total downloads, something like About that. About to be, yeah. In five years, that could be at a million, over a million. I, I, the way that we could really, if we hone down and we stay together and we really put our heads down and grind, we the, the sky's the limit for us. But in my real world right now, I'm a nurse right now. I'm going to <laughs> nursing school. Lord knows that I don't want that to be my career. <laughs> and But if, if God has that, you know, that's my path, then that's my path. In five years, I'll probably be going back to school in that aspect, probably going to be a nurse practitioner, probably some something in that field. But Lord knows that this is what I want to do. <laughs> I love how Riv, when, whenever he's like, it's his turn to answer a question, he never goes in and answers something. He just laughs awkwardly. Yeah, yeah. well, that's how he copes with like being uh It'll be like this. It'll be like you're finished talking and I'm here, uh -huh. and it's my turn. And I'll be like, yeah, oh my, yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> like like he doesn't know he's about to get called on. Yo. Like he's like surprised it's I his know. turn. It's like, it's like almost like a, I don't want to violate. It's not violent. It's like an uncomfortable feel for him. So that's so, how we coast okay, with it. So like I'm nervous every time you guys ask me a question. I'm always nervous. So that's how I cope. I just yeah. giggle and laugh because yeah. I know I'm up next. So I just start laughing and stuff. And then the way how y'all both just be staring at me after he's done talking, it just makes me yeah. laugh. <laughs> right, like he just like, he didn't know he was going to get called. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, that's, my, that's just how I cope. But yeah. um, damn, five years. Well, five years from now, my son will be seven. Five years from now, hopefully. If you guys didn't know that are watching, Rev doesn't know how to keep his dick in his pants. <laughs> Bro, that's, that's, that's foul. That's foul. Yo, bro, what? Yo, he, yo, that's foul. Bro, it's Patreon exclusive, man. It's the content. For real. <laughs> that we, they pay for. It. They want to know about we Junior. Can't, we can't say this on regular episodes. Nah, I know. Much um, more free. Five years from now. Now, I'm hoping, obviously, you know, uh, invested a lot of time in this. I want this to be, you know, my main thing, of course. But I also want to, like, you know, in five years, be a head coach. You know, I think that's always been Tough. something I always, you know, I have a, a cousin who he coached. He was an assistant at St. John's. He's an assistant at Tulane. And um, I have a lot of people who, you know, get into that. But I kind of don't want their help. I want to kind of do it, like, from the ground up. You know, I want to kind of grow and build my own thing. You know, just me and my son just building something for us to, you know, and whoever's in my future, my future wife, maybe more kids, hopefully my dad. But um, 
yeah, I want to be a head coach, and not for the NBA. I, I I like college. I like the route that they do. I like the recruiting aspect of it. I like how you only get thirty games, and then it's a tournament. You got to win a lot of games. I just love the whole process of college, and that's something like a D one Division one is really where I want to coach. I don't want Division two. I don't want Division three. If not that, then a scout. But I always wanted to do head coaching or scouting. I just love the idea of like going out and recruiting and getting players for your program and offering them a one-time deal, you know, to change your life. I always fell in love with I even still to this day, I have NCAA 10, and I play that game like relentlessly because I just love the whole process of scouting and coaching the college level. So definitely this in either head coach or being a scout. So in five years – I would be 27. Not going to lie. <laughs> at this, at 27, even at 22, I thought I was going to be in the NBA, bro. I thought I was going to be in NBA or in the NFL. That was my dream growing up as a kid. That's what got me into sports. I played basketball a lot, and I played football when I was younger, too. So that's what got me into sports. So that's probably where I thought I was going to be. But <laughs> obviously, realistically, life hits. I didn't have a growth spurt, so that, <laughs> shit, so that shit was done for. As soon as I, I knew I wasn't going to grow anymore, I said, yeah, this shit is fucking done. <laughs> I thought I could be Muggsy Bogues, though. I was always like, I could be Muggsy Bogues. You never know. Uh -huh. So five years from now, it's pretty tough, you know, because I think I, I kind of take my, my stuff day to day. I take my stuff day to day, and I don't really think too much about what I could, you know, do mm -hmm. in, in the future because I feel like when you think too much about what can happen later on, you don't focus on now. And – like, for example, I kind of struggle with this a little bit in how comparisons, right? Like, for example, sometimes I look on TikTok or on YouTube and I see people who have more subscribers than, you know, the podcast or even my personal channel. And I'm like, damn, man, these motherfuckers are lucky. They have it. You know, they got all these subs and shit. And then I'm over here and I, I forget to appreciate what I have because, you know, there are people that are trying to get to a thousand. There are people that are trying to get to a hundred. You know, so I have to learn to appreciate what I have because a lot of people are looking at my me and like saying, yo, man, this guy is on a good track and I'm over here not appreciating what I have. So five years from now is tough, man, because I feel like there's life can take me in so many different directions. But the one the one thing that I really hell bent on is doing things of value and worth. You know, that's why. I don't put I don't post much on TikTok or I don't try to post fast content because I don't like that type of shit. You know, I know that I could grow fast as fuck if like, you know, I post about Kyrie Irving and his fucking dating life or, you know, all this other drama bullshit. But I want to do things of substance. That's why, like, I, I've put myself in a position where I learn basketball a lot. I watch a lot. I, you know, I have playbooks of NFL teams and I study those plays because I want to get to a point where I could analyze what's happening in the game so I could explain it to the common fan. And that's why I like a podcast because it, it allows me to talk into a microphone for 10 minutes and actually give context to situations and give my opinion. But there are a lot of things that pique my interest. You know, sports are interests of mine. I'm really into politics. I, 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 you know, I could talk politics a lot in terms of just, you know, I'm really deep into it. I, and there was a point in time where I was really deep, deep into it. I'm getting into wrestling again. Like, I have so many interests. Like, I don't know where I would be in five years, but I do know that I don't want to have, like, a normal nine-to-five job. Yeah. And I, I don't want to work. I don't want to work for somebody. I want to work for myself and have that type of freedom. And right now, in terms of school, like, I'm going for marketing. You know, I was going for communications before, but I felt like because I do this, I don't really need communication. So I was going for, I'm going for marketing right now to kind of help out with like how to market stuff on social media, but that's not the field that I really want to work in necessarily. I, I want to work for myself and create my own kind of brand. And even with this podcast, like, you know, a year from now, a year ago, it started like a year and a half ago. I never thought that people would be donating money to like watch an exclusive episode. So that shit shocked me. And I didn't think our podcast would get to this level, even though it's relatively small compared to other channels. Like for me, it's like, damn, like, we came a long way because I remember we used to post shit and shit used to get like seven views. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like that, that shit used to be consistent. I remember that. Shit, and I still, and I was still grinding, posting like we had a fan base, you know? <laughs> and now it's it just, I think posting is much more fulfilling because I know that people are going to tune into these segments and tune into what we have to say. So 
it, it it's a good feeling knowing that what you're saying is actually being heard, you know, because sometimes when you, and it also makes you more cautious because bef- oh, for sure. before, That's- like, I would say anything. I said Josh <laughs> Allen what shouldn't be in an MVP race with an offensive lineman. <laughs> you know, I say that shit now. I'll get burnt and toast. People would probably clip it and make it go viral somewhere yep. else. But, you know, so you definitely, you're more cautious about what you say, but it's definitely good to have an audience. So five years from now, I want to be doing something of value. Five years from now, I want to own my own house. For sure. You know, I kind of I, I kind of want to be like Riv and, you know, have a kid, but just at a later age <laughs> in my life. Because I was going to say 27 is actually the the age for me where I want to actually start my real life. I thought the same thing. Because I'm, I, but listen, bro, you, you had a different path <laughs> and it's not the worst thing. But at the same time, I figure I'm going to graduate nursing school, 24, around that age. I have three years under my belt, probably still be living at home, just try to save some money. But at 27... With my my current girlfriend, her name's Al Alexandra, give her some love. Aww. But so at twenty seven, I could see me trying to to move out, get a house, maybe get married at that age. I'm more than firm with starting my life at twenty seven. That's been the goal of mine. That goal age or that age, you know it's what I'm prime. saying? Starting I feel prime. like twenty seven is where my life could actually start. So that that this question probably it, it does hit home because. There's certain things in, in my life that I think, you know, I'm pretty well-rounded in a few things, but I don't know if I am a 10 out of 10 at anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm really good in a bunch of aspects. The one thing that does that comes to mind that I'm not great at is actually soccer. I'm not great at soccer. But other than that, I, I could pick up things relatively quickly. But there's not one thing in particular that I'm really a 10 out of 10 at. And so then and when it comes to just being a good human being, being a... Uh, a guy that just, you know, like you said, takes it day by day. That's what I pride myself on. And I feel like I've done a good job up until this point. You know, I've graduated. I got my own bachelor's. I'm getting another bachelor's. I'm doing things the way that I want to do it. And I'm happy about that. And I feel like in five years, my life's really going to begin. Five years is such a long time. For real. I do do take it day by day, though. I just try to, you know, pride myself on being better than who I was. Because I think, like, the person who I used to be wouldn't have been the person who he is now without all the mishaps and the up and downs. But I try to just, you know, be, you know, a better dad and just be a better person. Cause you know, five years from now, I do want to get married, you know, have another kid, you know, but this time, you know, with a crib or something like that. But I don't think like, like you said, I don't want to work for anybody. I think like I might obviously have to work for somebody, but I don't, I don't want to like have a boss telling me what to do or have a job where I'm not happy. Cause a lot of people work nine to fives and they wake up and they're not happy. I want like, as long as the money is cool, cool enough for me and my, me and mine to have a good life. I'm willing to wake up every day and just be happy with what I'm doing. I, th- I feel like this in the sports, I feel like I'm a 10 to 10 out of 10 of that. Like I'm really great at it. And I think that would fulfill my happiness in the sense where a nine to five, what I do now, I hate it. You know, I hate working and going to work every day. It's aggravating. It's annoying. It's not what I want to do. So like stuff that I want to do would definitely fulfill that. 